When it becomes necessary to do clutch or transmission repair on the M151 vehicle or to replace the entire power package, the power pack is easily removed from the vehicle. To remove the power pack, all connections between it and the vehicle must be freed at the front of the engine, at the left side of the engine, at the right side of the engine. Inside the passenger compartment. and under the vehicle. One preliminary step is required before removal of the power pack is begun. The battery ground cable is disconnected. On the left side of the engine at the carburetor, the air intake hose, the float chamber vent hose, the fuel tank vent line, and the oil pressure safety switch vent line are disconnected. And the air cleaner is removed. Then the flexible fuel hose is disconnected. The cable at the generator. The choke control cable. The accelerator rod the muffler inlet pipe at the exhaust manifold, the clutch return spring, the clutch release rod, and the single bolt which secures the front engine support are removed, as well as the clutch pedal linkage and the clutch cross shaft and housing. All connections on the left side of the engine have now been released. The electrical connections to the headlamps and the blackout marker assemblies are removed. The bolts which secure the brush guard are removed. And the brush guard is pulled off. At the right side of the engine, the windshield wiper hose at the vacuum pump, the ignition cable, the electrical connections to the oil pressure sending unit, the electrical connection to the oil pressure safety switch, the temperature sending unit, the ground strap, and the single bolt securing the front engine support on the right side are removed. All connections on the right side of the engine have now been released. Inside the passenger compartment, begin by removing the gear shift lever knob the transfer clutch lever knob, the transmission gear shift lever boot, the transfer plate boot retainer, with the transfer clutch shift lever boot, and the parking brake lever boot. Take off the transmission cover plate. Remove the transmission gear shift lever boot. And the transmission gear shift lever assembly. Note that a tape or rag is used to protect the transmission from dirt after the transmission gear shift lever assembly has been removed. Next, the parking brake lever and the transfer clutch shift lever are removed. 
the starter cable and the oil pressure safety switch wire, the speedometer cable are released. And the speedometer cable freed from the retaining clip. Only two bolts, one on each side of the transmission case, secure the engine within the passenger compartment. When these two bolts are removed, all connections to the engine in the passenger compartment are released. Underneath the vehicle, begin by removing the four bolts that connect the front propeller shaft to the transfer output shaft yoke, and loosen the clamp securing the muffler inlet pipe to the muffler. Then remove the four bolts that connect the rear propeller shaft to the transfer output shaft yoke. All connections to the vehicle are now released. The power pack can now be removed. The sling is attached to the two eye hooks mounted on the engine block. The power pack is removed for repair of the transmission or clutch or replacement of its entirety. The M151 Ford engine is designed for easy, rapid organizational maintenance by removal and replacement of individual engine components or the entire power pack.